Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. So from today we will start a new CSS playlist. In this session we will see what is CSS. The second is different ways to add CSS in HTML file and then CSS selectors. Let's start with what is CSS. So the full form of CSS is cascading style sheets. It is used to define styles for web pages. Using CSS, we can apply different styling to the website and we can change the look of website using CSS. Suppose you have created HTML file using HTML element, but without CSS, that file will look like this. So using CSS, we are just adding or applying the styling to this HTML elements. If you don't know how to create HTML file and how to add the elements in that file, please go through my HTML beginners playlist. First, let's see CSS syntax. So CSS syntax is a combination of selector and declaration blocks. The CSS selector points to HTML elements and inside declaration block, we are declaring property and value pair. Inside declaration block, you can declare as many as number of property value pairs. Let's explore different ways to include CSS in web pages. So there are three ways we can include the CSS in HTML. First is inline CSS, second internal CSS and third is external CSS. First we will see how to use inline CSS. Using inline CSS we can apply styling to the particular element. So if you want to apply inline styling, then you should use the style attribute and inside style attribute, you can declare property and value pair. So currently I'm using text align as a property and center as a value. On browser, you can see our styling got applied to the body element. Second way is internal CSS. Internal CSS is a use to add unique styling for single file. Internal CSS is defined in head section of HTML page and it is added inside style tag. You can see I have added body element and I have added some CSS property and value pair inside that element. On browser, you can see the styling got applied which I have added in internal CSS. Let's explore third external CSS option. We used external CSS when you want to apply styling for multiple pages. So with the external CSS, you can make a changes for entire website using single file. Before adding external CSS file inside HTML, you have to create external CSS file. So inside my project, I have created one CSS folder and added external style file. You can see I have added some styling inside external style file. Then you can define external CSS file within link element and inside head section of HTML page. If you want to use this external CSS file on multiple pages, then you need to add reference of this file on each and every page within link element. So here is the difference between inline, internal and external CSS. Inside inline CSS, we can apply styling to the single HTML element. Inside internal CSS, we can apply styling to the single HTML file or document. But in external CSS, we can apply styling to entire website. Adding inline CSS in HTML file is time consuming and makes your HTML structure messy. Inside internal CSS, we need to write multiple lines of style so it will increase the page size and load time. But in external CSS, we are writing CSS code in separate document so our HTML files will have a cleaner structure and they are in smaller size. Both inline and internal CSS are not reusable, but we can reuse external CSS files. Let's explore CSS selectors. Selectors select the content you want to style. There are five categories of selectors. Simple selectors, attribute selector, combinator selectors, pseudo class selector and pseudo element selectors. Let's see each selector one by one. Inside simple selector, there are five types of selectors. First, element selector, class selector, ID selector, universal selector, and grouping selectors. 
Let's see practical example of element selector. Element selector selects HTML elements based on names. Here I am adding CSS. So it will select all P elements and apply dark red color for that page. You can see on a browser the dark red color get applied to all P elements. Then let's see class selector. Class selector selects HTML elements with specific class attribute. In my HTML you can see I am using BG color class more than one. So you can add specific CSS to this class and that CSS get applied to all similar class attribute. On browser you can see the background color get applied to all similar class attribute. If you are using ID on HTML page and want to apply CSS then you can use ID selector. There should be always unique ID within that page and the CSS will be written with the hash character followed by name of ID. If you want to apply styling to all elements on a page then you can use universal selector. You have to use star character and add CSS in that. If you want to apply same styling to the particular group of HTML elements then you can use grouping selector. It will help to minimize the CSS code and each selector in grouping selector is separated by comma. Let's jump to next attribute selector category. There are different ways you can use attribute selector. First you can directly use a specified attribute. Second you can mention the value along with that attribute. Third if you want to apply styling to the specified attribute whose value starting with the about then you can use this selector. Use dollar along with the attribute whose attribute value ends with the specified value. You can also use the tilt and star to apply CSS to the specific word and specific value. Next let's explore combinator selectors. There are four different combinator. First descendant selector. If you want to apply CSS to all descendant elements of specified element then you can use descendant selector. While using descendant selector you need to add space between two selectors. So it will apply CSS to all anchor elements of nav element. Next adjacent sibling selector. It will apply CSS to the immediately following element of specified element. Here it will apply CSS to the P element which is placed immediately after nav element. Next combinator is child selector. It will apply CSS to the all styled elements of specified element. Next is general sibling selector. It will apply CSS to all selectors that are next sibling of specified element. Next let's explore pseudo class selectors. In this you can style an element in special state of element. For example if you want to apply CSS when you are having this link or visiting or you want to style when you are focusing on this link then you can use pseudo class selectors. Syntax of pseudo class is first selector followed by colon and then state of element. Likewise you can mention different state of element and apply CSS to that state. And the last is pseudo element selector. In this you can style specify parts of elements. And syntax of pseudo element selector is selector followed by double colon and then pseudo element. Likewise you can use before, after, first child, last child, first line, marker, pseudo elements. So friends we have learned in this session what is CSS, how to add them in HTML file and all types of CSS selectors and their usage. Friends if you like my video please click on like button. Do share with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Till then keep learning. Bye bye.